I was in my fifth grade when my dog ate up my holiday homework and I tell you what, I did not care. I fell from the stairs and broke my legs and you know what, I still did not care. And each of my notebook was very familiar with all coffee stains but I again did not care. Because the, okay. the only things I actually cared were the syntax errors in my code and the semicolons after every line. And believe me, they did not let me sleep for nights. My parents were troubled. I was sitting up nights and working on my code. And I was enjoying it. In my school, most of my classmates dream of being Ronaldo or Messi and playing football all their life. But I always had this dream of doing something for humanity. Something through which I can put an impact onto humanity. I found that in development. I started enjoying development and every, everything that came along with development completely. Actually, yeah, to remember, uh, I was in my fifth grade then and I had just come home and I was browsing through the web on my dad's laptop when I came across a question, how? And that single question on Google, how can I make a website? was where my journey began. Of the one million results, was quite scary for a child, of the one million results that came up, I began diving into each of them like a swimming pool and ended up into an ocean of coding. And I enjoyed it. I enjoyed every stroke in freestyle or backstroke, every way. And I still enjoy it. So, okay, like uh, most of my computer science classes in school, uh, are where I see my classmates sitting in the back row and playing a game while the teacher is teaching. And I always come across this question of how can somebody play a game in such an interesting class. Oh, that's a very, very different thing that after brainstorming I realized that I was the only one who was finding it actually interesting. <laughs> so I decided to look into it that what was it in these games which was not there in coding what was a game for me. Uh, I started by seeing for this game called Class of Clans. Most of the people here might be familiar with it. Super addicting. So there were three reasons why kids wanted to play this instead of code. First, the leaderboard. Second, the leaderboard. And third, the leaderboard. <laughs> so, what, so what basically it was, they had that competitive spirit. They wanted to come higher than their friend and so off. I, you know, I have these many troops, I have all this, you don't have it, so I'm superior. It was, they wanted to work hard. No kid wanted to sit back and relax. But this game, instead they wanted to take their brain, they wanted to use critical thinking and strategy planning to actually participate in the game. So, and, so why not do the same for coding? I started with a simple scratch programming course for my teachers. Yes, for my teachers, because they were the ones to take it to the students. So they started using it. However, that's a very, very different thing that I was never so satisfied with the output. And, but what it did was, it paved the way for my first startup, CompAcademy.in. What Comp Academy basically does is, it helps anybody come online, sign up, and register, and after that, see videos, and as they see videos, they get points. And those points add up to their score and they come higher on the leaderboard. So what basically happens is, a kid has to strategize. I want to learn this, I want to learn this, then I want to learn this, that I come on the top of the leaderboard and I'm superior to my friend. And what basically happens is, as the byproduct, they're learning. So parents are happy with the byproduct and the kid is happy with the main product, the game. So that's what Comp Academy did. And if I tell you truthfully, it's, I am going to put my hands up and say this, that it's a very common affair for me to be called names such as A Battery, Geeky, Nerdy in school. But it's always my parents who make me feel loved, normal, and wanted. And, 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 wait, I'm going to do good. Not to forget, that's the only thing that saves my life during the examination days when I do the so-called out-of-syllabus work. And although I enjoy it, so 
<laughs> and thank you, mom. Thank you, dad. <laughs> and OK. So coming to my second startup, kstar.in. So what kstar basically does is, well, let me get you a cool story, what really makes me feel amazing. Uh, first of all, before I proceed, I don't like shopping like any other child on the face of earth. That day, I didn't have another option. So I had to go to the new market in Bhopal, along with my parents, where I couldn't but notice the amount of shops who had nothing to do with online and had so much excess talk. And I decided to ask them what was the reason that they don't try coming up online. I got a lot of common replies. Two of them were, first, it's too expensive. And they were scared of the summer web developer would charge. And the second, that it is too technical and they don't want to go into the thing and get stuck there forever. So they were running away from this internet revolution. So what Kesta basically does is, Kesta helps any business simply sign up, fill in a few details, click on the button. Voila, your website is ready. That's all. You can start selling online. And if you don't want to sell online, you can simply maintain a mere online presence in the online revolution. That's what Kesta does. Basically, it can help you double your profits. It's currently in the beta stage, to be truthful. OK. I believe productivity is the sum of passion and perseverance. And even if one of them is missing, nothing ever works out. I love cognitive development and ethical hacking. Like last year, along with my team, I achieved the first prize at IIT Bombay Tech Radiance in Ethical Hacking. Uh, however, this is not what I want to do all the 365 days of the year. I have been working on a project in order to use maximum of the reality apparatus, which is your senses, like your pupil, closing and opening of the eyelids, body temperature, to make you feel actually like you're somewhere else. I would like to show you a live demo of it. Oh, first of all, I need to tell you the rule of this game. Nobody laughs. So it uses your breath sensing as a secondary apparatus in the background. Uh, one second, let me get my pointer off. OK. So yes, it uses your breath sensing in the background. The visual apparatus, to be truthful, is where all we are. Except for that, the best part of this is it's made out of complete e-waste. You know, I didn't have a big budget for this. So I used all the stuff I had kept in my cupboard. And it was useless for me. OK. Like I earlier mentioned, I love cognitive development. And to be truthful, I'm not going to fake around. In the past seven days, I was working on cognitive development. So I would like to show you an uh, assistant application I made for the Google Assistant. Do try it out in your phone, if you like it. OK, so this is basically what it does is, a, on your device, you can ask, ask awesome life hacks for some life hacks. And it will recall the application to just tell you a few tricks and hacks in the daily life. And this was it. I got amazing review, and it came among the top numbers in the first two days in productivity, other category. Ooh. And like I earlier said, productivity is always passion and perseverance. And I can repeat that line a million times again. I believe nothing in this whole universe is perfect. And it is everybody's job to get it clo a level closer to perfection, if not perfect. Because like I earlier said, nothing can be perfect. Every generation has to develop it further to make it a little closer to perfection. And that's what I always love to do. Like to use empathy along with my skills, actually all my skills, to make it a little closer to perfection. And that's what always and always motivates me. And to be truthful, I always, always have problems with self-learning. And, and, prob and the forums always help. And did I tell you that it is always self-learning advantages? They always help. 
And like I mentioned, it's only thanks to self-learning that I recently closed 50,000 users on K-Star. Okay. And, and, and if you trust my mom, I learned to talk when I was two and a half. How small would I have been? Okay, that's a different thing. Okay, so, and since then I have never stopped and that's what I'm doing now, so I'm enjoying talking. And that's what. So I want all of you to take one thing from this talk. That is, never stop asking questions. Never, ever, whatsoever stop asking questions. May, may they be as stupid as why the sky is blue, or why do people catch flu? Or may they be like why the engine makes noise, or why do kids like to play with toys? Always and always ask questions, because if you don't, you will never be answered. Thank you. <laughs>